this is no Jadavisha aka Snowrat aka Frozen Snowrat. First of all, I want to apologize to my current neighbors. You know, uh, the, just so you know, the, this this Saturday, um, basically there's going to be a two pack. It's going to be these headphones that connect to to my the TV's headphone jack. Um, me me personally, I always wear headphones. Like I, I prefer to have no like like I've I've this is. I've lived on my own since I was 16. Um, I've lived on my own since 16 until now. You know, I've, every place I've lived at, I've been super quiet and I've always had headphones on. I've never, never really made sounds. You know, because I was, I mean, for a long time, I always wear headphones. So I apologize about the no noise. You know, I've, I've lived in this apartment for about four years now and, and they just, these, I mean, my neighbors are straight pricks. I mean, a lot of a lot of them are rude. A lot of them are cruel. A lot of them are mean. It, I mean, it, it kind of sucks, but you know, that's why I, I never, I never, I try to avoid my neighbors at all costs. You know, because my neighbors they like to gossip and they're just very dark people, and so, so I try to avoid them at all costs. You know, because I, I don't need that negative energy. But but I do, you know, I I, I do have res you know, I, you know, I don't even want to begin to you know understand what's going on in your life, but. You know, understand that I do apologize about the noise that they will, you know, I'm planning on getting the head, headsets that plug into the headphone jack so my mom can, can li listen to, listen to music. Because I, I, I literally, I lived here, this is the story, I lived here for, for about three and a half years. And then I had this, this hippie lady, who was actually one of my former teachers, spread all these rumors about me. And I, you know, and I have... And, and I have all these I have I because we, we have some we have some gang members in the neighborhood we have we have some drug dealers we have all kinds of you know we have we have a lot of child molesters around this area and all of them are, are just like attacking me I have literally have people you know 5 30 morning yelling at my in my window which just so you, know, you folks know I, I'm not scared man I, I can literally you know clean house with them they, they don't scare me one bit <laughs> I mean, they're, they're just, they're just, they're just huff and puff, you know, if, if, if they really think they're badass, you know, that they can, they can break my window and, and <laughs> trust me, they're going to be hella sorry. I mean, they're going to be sorrier than you wouldn't believe is, you know, th there's people that watch me constantly. There's people that watch my apartment that they watch me on a constant basis. If somebody causes, if somebody causes me that much grief, you know, th th they're going to get a lot of trouble they don't want. So, so I, I try to avoid my neighbors. I try to be. I always wear headphones. You know, I always. And so I apologize, neighbors, about you know, the noise. Uh, the, the the video I wanted to make. You know, Mother Divine wanted me to tell this story. I did not want to tell this story. <laughs> this is kind of an embarrassing story, but it, it has its cool part. It has a lot of cool parts to it. I, the, the, the reason why I'm so, I, I got into, you know, why love is a big thing for me. When I first started out, you know, kissing and, you know, doing this, this intimacy thing, you know, I was actually horrible at it. Actually, the funny story, the second girl that I actually kissed, that I actually officially kissed, I actually, she spread a room around Park, Dawes, Goodrich, you know, Leffler, pretty much all the middle schools, cause, you know, all the middle schools, we all know each other from the other middle schools. And she spread to all the middle schools. You know, at that time, you know, it was the late '90s, and she spread to all the middle schools that I kissed like a dog. So I was, you know, back then. Back then, you know, I grew up in the gang era, so we didn't really have bullies. So I didn't really have people bully me. I just had a lot of people, you know, crack jokes on me that I kissed like a dog. You know, it. It's I. I grew up in a, a different generation. I mean, this generation has bullies and stuff. We did. We really didn't have bullies in my generation. And when growing up, you know, in the gang era, you did not want to be a bully. Or else you're gonna be dealt with. <laughs> I mean, literally, in my in my time, literally, if if somebody didn't like you, you're gonna have like 40, 50 people at your door, you know, with bats, and or you can be you can be going down the street, and you know, you have like 20 people breaking in your window, dragging you out of the car, and hitting you with a bat. Nobody wanted to be a bully in my time, you know, when I was growing up. So so people people crack jokes on me constantly, you because know, we were all buddies at the time, like everybody was friends. Like most of us, you know, most of the, the schools, you know, even when I went to high school, you know, Link, Lincoln High North, Lincoln High, we know, we, Lincoln High Northeast, 
you know, I don't think North Star was there at the time. You know, Southwest, Southeast, you know, Pius, we were, we were all, you know, we all knew each other. We all, you know, nowadays, you know, people don't, people from Lincoln High don't know Northeast people and Lincoln High doesn't know pious people, you know, but back then we all knew each other. We all hung out together. We all went to parties together. I mean, it was, it was more, it was more unified than nowadays and, and we didn't have bullies, you know, it was, you know, but, but, but then we did also had our bad problems, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of big gang fights and stuff. So it was, it was, it had its good and its bad, just, just like every generation. And, and so, so the, the rumor got around that I, I kissed like a dog. And that, that actually, you know, I mean, my friends, no, nobody was super mean to me, but they're, they're just, I get a lot of, my, a lot of my friends, a lot of people cracking jokes that, that I kiss like a dog. And, you know, back back then, you know, my generation, you know, that they, they really know how to, they really know how to joke. And that, that, you know, people were saying that, that um, t you're making jokes about Snoop Dogg and kissing like a dog, you know, I mean, people were real clever back then you know, about making jokes. And then, then when I got a little bit older and I, I started really getting into, you know, the intimacy, you know, I was really horrible at it. I was really bad. You know, I, I, I mean, <laughs> and then the thing is, the thing that, the thing that, that really got me is because I was hot stuff. You know, I was actually really attractive when I was, when I was in middle school and high school. Actually, a lot of girls liked me. And when you're really attractive and you're horrible and you kiss like a dog and you're horrible at intimacy, you know, you you want to make a point. You want to make a point to change that. So so about when I was seventeen or eighteen, you know, there there is this website. It's, it, the website's no longer there, which I think is sad. I mean, this website had over five hundred positions. It had everything you want to know about love and intimacy and everything. It had everything you want to know. It had so many great tips. I have, I, have, I mean, some of the stuff that I learned from it. You know, I've I've never seen anywhere even to this day. You know, I'm sad that the website no longer there, but it was. It was a legit website. I mean, it was it was all about intimacy, and it was it wasn't nastiness. It wasn't like, because you know we, you know when 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 the internet first started, you know that there wasn't really you know porn. I mean, porn a porn didn't start till I was like a senior in high school. You know, the the original stuff was like was like education. You know, the original. Well, I mean, they had porn way before. I mean, I'm talking about porn on the internet. The, the porn on the internet didn't happen no because you know they had porn on, on videos but the, you know, on the internet it didn't happen till I was like you know senior or like when I was a junior or senior they didn't have porn you know the the stuff on the internet was like education it was it, it was when the internet first started up and you know the, the, it was all about education and it was all it was all like everything was professional they had a lot of cool stuff and that's how I got my nickname my Japanese nickname Darebu. See, they used to have, they used to have a lot of cool stuff on the internet, which I'm kind of sad they don't have anymore. You know, a lot of stuff was was scratched. You know, because I mean, when the internet came, first came about, that you know they wanted to make it cool and they they wanted to make it special and they were really trying all kinds of cool stuff. And they they really did have a lot of like really cool stuff. They had these generators. You know, that I don't know how they did these generators. These generators were like really really good. And you you could put your name in and it would actually give you an exact translation of your name in, in, the, in that language. My Japanese name is Darebu, which is actually the, and, and they, they, don't, they don't have those anymore. All, all this cool stuff that is on the internet, they don't have anymore. So that, that's, 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 where I, that's where I learned how to, you know, love making is not only from that, that, that intimacy love site, which had over 500, 500 positions. I mean, I, I know that seems like you, you, you wouldn't think there's that many positions, but I mean, had everything you want to know about, you know, about intimacy, love, and I and I, I picked up a lot of books. I watched a lot of you know documentary, like a, a lot of the these videos on on these experts how to kiss and how to properly kiss because you don't just kiss, you know, the, the, you kiss on there's kiss on neck, you know, how you tilt your head, you know, where you position your nose to their nose. I mean, there there really is, really is an art to, to kissing. And there, there really is art, to, you know, to love making and stuff. I'm not, I'm not talking, you know, Kama Sutra. Uh, I'm not talking about that kind of stuff. I'm talking about real, you know, the the real stuff, you know. You know, the, I mean, I'm not talking about you know fa fairy tale, you know, love making. I'm talking about you know, the the, the people who, you know, that that's, I mean, they've they've actually made it into art, and and so I learned that from the side, and I learned a lot of stuff. 
and so so when I when I was early twenties, I, I started getting better, but then I had a problem. I was I was just I was a little bit above average, you know, private side. So um, I wanted to, to change that. So what I did, I, I was I at the time I was getting trained by Ascendant Masters and everything. I decided to take you know these these enlargement pills. You know what they are enlargement pills, and that I that was a journey in itself. They they actually do work, but there's a lot you should know. For one thing, you're actually supposed to do exercises. Um, they, they do make you larger, but you're supposed to do exercises. I didn't realize that when I first, because I I took them for like four or five years, and they they actually work. They work really well. And there's a lot I learned. You know, you're supposed to do exercises. Like I'm, I, I if, if if you don't do exercises, you're gonna get really thick, but you're not gonna get longer. And so this is important. To you. And also, you, there's pills you have to take. I did not know this. I was I, a lot of a lot of reason people have you know don't don't have like rapid progress. The reason why some people have progress and a lot of people don't is because you have to take pills on top of pills. You take the large bit pills, but you also have to take like copper. You have to take the omega three, six, and nine. You have to take a lot of this stuff because um, the, that the the private is an organ that 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 when it grows, it needs to repair real quick. For it to grow more, or else it, it's stagnant, and it also needs it. It, um, it stretches out, and because you know when you're born, you have a set size. So when you try these, these enlargement pills, they, they work, but you need pills because if you don't have pills, uh, like for instance, I for about a year I was taking them, and my my private hurt real bad, and I didn't realize it was it was grown too. It was grown. It it needed it needed I needed to take copper to 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 repair it and repair the the tissue and stuff and I need the omega three six to nine to, to give it it's because it, um, there's a whole science behind it it's uh, there's a reason why it gets hard and gets flaccid and you 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 need these these vitamins for it to to grow to 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 for it to properly you know grow to to a larger size. If you don't, you're going to be in pain. It's going to be real, real thick, and it's, well, it's, it's, it's a whole story. I, it was a learning process. So, so I, I did, I, I did that, and I, I, it was, it was a huge like, and it all started from a girl saying that I kissed like a dog, which, which I hate to say this, I did kiss like a dog. I, I was a horrible kisser. I, I, I pretty much put my mouth on her, and I, I, I kissed like her like a dog, and it was a true story, which is kind of comical. And that that's what started me on the journey of love, you know. And plus, plus I was a popular guy, so a lot of girls liked me. A lot of girls wanted to do things with me, and you know I was horrible at it. So I, I had to get good, and I had to get good fast, because you know a guy who's who's a hot shot, you know, who's horrible at at you know love making, that doesn't cut it. <laughs> so that's the I mother divine wanted me to get this story. I did not want to tell this story. This is this is this is very intimate for this is very private information about me, but. Well, like I told you, I'm your wings, so you have to know everything there is to know about me. You know, people say, you know, I'm an attention seeker and everything like that. No, I'm not an attention seeker. I don't, I, do you honestly think I want to, I want to tell you this story about me kissing like a dog and all this embarrassing information about me taking enlargement pills and, you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to reveal, but the Mother Divine says I have to, you folks have to know everything there is to know about me. And I wish, I wish I hate, you know, it kind of sucks because I, <laughs> I'm getting used to it. I'm, I'm getting used to it. It's, it's like, because you know, you, you people, you people are becoming more accepting of me. You know, well, th that's my story. And by the way, I, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't had any intimacy in three years. And there's a whole reason behind that. Uh, the reason why I didn't have it, I stopped having it's me through. I, I'm, I'm gonna have intimacy, and it's gonna be epic because I'm, not, I'm now infused with source energy. I actually. I'm actually way more advanced of love making. Um, I'm actually I actually proposed to a c couple of my close friends. You know, like you want do you want to be the first and of my new self of being being my first, and they're not they're not down for it. They you know it scares them, you know, because they, they they know and I know it. It's gonna be a it's gonna be an intense experience. It's gonna be epic because you know I I got source energy through me. I I I, I um like the next time I love make I'm gonna be. Playing by by now by by anno, and these beats these special beats I'm gonna be using a healing one, a chakra healing one, which um, 
a lot of people say you should use the the this the the intimacy you know bino beads but i'm actually using the chakra is actually better for you for for love making because it actually it actually because you need when your, your chakras are enhanced it actually greatly enhances your love making and i'm actually I, actually uh, some legit a mother divine actually told me that that's correct information archangel said you know love making it the sex um Bino beads is not not nowhere near as effective as the chakra healing. Bino beads is you have sex, and I have a special setup. I I use I use a special uh, sheet. I use special pillows because uh, I you have to use I use I have special positions where I, I use pillows uh, that 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 are my sing that I that kind of my signature moves. And then I have um, I have a special like starlight um, that that's only light on, and girls love it. And I was supposed to do. I was supposed to have my first experience in three years um, about a month ago, but the the girl, the girl was too scared. I mean, we, we cuddled and stuff, and things happened. But you know, she, you know, because it, it's gonna be a big thing, and you know, no girl wants to wants to be be my first because technically she would be my first and my new self, and it's gonna be epic. And a lot of girls, it scares them. You know, it, it's 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 a bit much for them, so. That's my story. I did not want to tell this, but Mother Divine urged me to get this out there because she said this information has to be known. Oh, I, I hope you folks enjoyed it. And have an awesome night. I'm, I'm sitting here trying to... Um, I, have, I, have to I have to do a lot of work. I it, My my Pleiadians and Arcturians tell me that I got to put in work. So I'm, I'm right now filling out a lot, of, a lot of information for a lot of companies and, and giving them giving them you know they asking me a lot of suggestions and they're asking me so i i, I gotta put in work and I, I i gotta put a lot of good and great out there i you know basically as, as light workers we have to do work too you know we have to do a lot of work and it's 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 something that has to be done which, which i enjoy because it's, it's going to bring great and good in my life sorry for the long video very sorry for the long video please forgive me and have an awesome night and sleep with angels and if you folks need me at all you let me know. I have your back 100%. I'm always there for all of you. Thank you.